So guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything's good wherever you guys are. So guys, I'm keeping a close tab on this Connor Ben, Chris Eubank situation. Um, I, at the minute, it looks like the fight is still on. Uh, I think it's a developing story and something that will, will, you know, the British Boxing Board, since I made my video, the British Boxing Board of Control um, have said that the fight, they're not sanctioning it. So there seems there seems a big issue. Also, there seems to be a lot of promotion behind the fight being stopped. I I I don't know whether the fight's going to go ahead. If it does go ahead, it'll probably be it'll have to be sanctioned by another boxing, uh, boxing board. Uh, and because the British Boxing Board and Control, which is the 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 board that sanctions fights here in the UK, have basically refused to sanction the fight. So that means they won't be providing any refs, etc. From that particular um. You know, it just won't be sanctioned by it. So they could go down the route that Hay and uh, uh, Chisora did all those years ago with Luxembourg. Uh, however, I don't know. That was from the get-go. The British board had, had said that they're not going to sanction that fight. Uh, I don't know whether on such short notice that they can get another. They probably can, but the, even the promotion for the fight. I, I know the, they were going to air an episode on BBC One, which now is no longer going to be aired. Um, so that's a big issue. Um, also, I, I wanted to talk about Canelo Benavidez in this video, but before I get into it, uh, people are saying, oh, Ben's like Canelo and this, that and the other. One thing I want to say about Canelo is a lot of people jump onto Canelo and Canelo and look, sometimes I get the sport. It's a bit gray. Uh, it's a bit dark areas. And sometimes these favorable revenue bringing in fighters like Canelo, like Ben's there, you know, they seem to get a slap on the wrist. Canelo got a six month ban. Uh, he did get banned. You know, he did get banned for six months. Now, people may say, well, six months, I mean, that's nothing. I mean, for a guy that's been caught, you know, tested positive or whatever, it's nothing. Some people may say that, but nonetheless, he still got banned. There's many fighters that have nowhere near, like Ben, for example. I, I'm not, he probably won't even get banned. You know, Billy Joe Saunders, you know, he never got banned. Canelo still got banned. It was still, you know, like, yeah, people may say the six month ban was laughable, but he still got banned. You know, and and he got fined as well. So he got he got reprimand. I mean, he got reprimanded. Now the ban was <laughs> Canelo don't fight. I mean, normally in six months anyway. He, he normally fights in May and September, so it was ideal for him. But nonetheless, whatever, whatever it was, is the 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 point the the point is is that this is a very grey area in boxing, and this is a problem. It's a very dangerous sport, right? And these things need to be ironed out. They need to be ironed out. Um, you know, uh, Canelo got a lot of stick because of how well, because of how well known he is and the popu popular man. He's he's the cash cow in boxing, and obviously people know how important Canelo is to the sport of boxing. Um, but yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what to really say about about th this. It's a grey area. It's a grey area that needs to be governed properly. I think the problem we have in boxing is that. The sport doesn't govern it. I mean, it, there's no governing body. There's no governing body that oversees the whole thing and says, well, if you get caught with a performance announcing drug, you're going to be banned for two years. I mean, that would put, I mean, there's no real strict, I mean, you know, there's no strict, uh, like, yeah, they have a great uh, uh, testing system. Yeah, VADA and all these people testing all these fighters year round. But when they get caught, what happens? I mean, the 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 big names don't seem. Nothing seems to happen. I mean, there's no real ban. I mean, there's fighters that have been tested positive three times that have come back and they're fighting again. I mean, it's it's almost laughable at this point. What's the point of having such a stringent testing system when fighters get caught, nothing happens? I mean. What's the point? It's like, a, it's like, what's the point of having a policing system if you're going to catch a criminal and then let him go? I mean, that's effectively what this is. I mean, you're having a stringent testing system so you can catch people that are doing up to no good and then they get punished for that. But here it doesn't seem, I mean, the fight might get caught off, but that's a small thing. I mean... I, I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's bizarre. I, I I find it difficult to really understand the sport of boxing because uh, Teddy Atlas says this a lot, that there's no one really overseeing it. There's no one really, I mean, there's no one really who's governing this sport. I mean, why isn't there, 
Why can someone test positive and get banned for six months and then someone test positive and get banned? Nothing. Some people get banned for two years for testing positive for cocaine. I mean, I'm confused. I'm, I mean, I'm really confused. It doesn't make sense. I mean, there's no, there's no overseeing. There's no, there needs to be one overseeing of, of a governing body. And I get boxing is a very broad sport. And the problem is you can't have, it's not like FIFA where it governs the whole of football. I mean, this is a you know and even fee, even football has like fa and and stuff but there seems like there's more clarity in in football and other sports whereas in boxing there doesn't seem to be a lot of clarity Dif you know different states do what what they want you know it doesn't make sense there's different boxing balls that they seem to do what they want for example apparently conor ben has hasn't failed hasn't failed um any tests according to ucad but the test he failed was with VADA. But the British Boxing Board of Control don't recognize them. So under their body, he hasn't done anything wrong. But then why have they said that we're not sanctioning this fight? Yet he's failed a test with VADA. But yet they've come out and said they're not willing to sanction the fight. Because even though they don't recognize VADA. So how does that make sense? How can, you, how can a British Boxing Board not recognize VADA? I mean, I, I don't quite... You see what I mean? I'm confused and I understand boxing. I understand... I don't, I don't understand why. Well, like how can you not recognise VADA? Why? I mean, if they're a, if they're a, a testing organisation that tests people, that says that that drug is no good, right? Why would the British Boxing Board not recognise them? I mean, I, do you see what I mean? It, it, I'm confused. I don't understand. And if I don't understand, other people won't understand either. I'm really confused. But moving on, I also want to talk about another thing. I will do more videos about this as this story develops. Um, but let's see how this story plays out. I mean, Canelo Alvarez um, is being called out by Oscar De La Hoya and saying that Canelo Alvarez will duck. David Benavides, he's too good and too too young and too talented for Canelo Alvarez. You know, Canelo Alvarez right now has come under a lot of criticism and he's 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 being the British I mean not the British, the boxing fans are really criticizing, apart from the hardcore Canelo fans, the a lot of boxing fans want to see him fight Benavides. I think Canelo Alvarez has a lot of pressure on him now. I think Canelo Alvarez needs to fight David Benavides. And before I wasn't that in like I wasn't that uh, much because I'm I'm not a big fan of Benavides. I don't think he's that great. But I think Canelo needs to fight him now because I think Canelo's integrity is being questioned. Canelo, the way he's been moving is being questioned. And a lot of people think David Benavides is too much for Canelo Alvarez. A lot of people think that David Benavides will beat Canelo Alvarez, not just beat him, stop him. They think that he's too young, too fresh, he throws too many punches, he's too much for Canelo. Uh, Roy Jones and and this is not just me, but a lot of people. I mean, me. I think it's. I think Canelo would destroy Benavides just because I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced with David Benavides, but a lot of people in the game rate Benavides very highly and think Benavides will beat Canelo Alvarez. So for me, Canelo Alvarez needs to take a stand, and Canelo Alvarez needs to say, "Okay, I need to. I need to fight this guy." Because a lot of people out there think he's a threat for Canelo Alvarez. And a lot of people think that he'll beat Canelo Alvarez. So Canelo needs to come out and now and fight that guy. He needs to fight him. Because at the end of the day, if he doesn't fight him, people are going to say, oh, he's ducking. He never wanted to fight that guy because he knew he'd lose. Canelo needs to fight David Benavidez. That's a fight that needs to happen. Canelo cannot go throughout his career stroll through his career now and not fight David Benavides. And look, I feel sorry for Canelo because he's having to fight tough fights after tough fights. But Canelo needs a good rest first. He needs a good rest. Arguably a fight after the rest. You know, maybe a John Ryder or something like that. You know, I think Canelo needs a good one, one and a half year rest. And people may say that's a bit too long. No, no, he needs a rest. He seems like, at the minute, he seems like his body's worn out. He's got a lot of injuries. And listen, Canelo might be past his best. Some of you, Michael Rodriguez came and said, Imran, no, Canelo's not past his best. Well, Michael, you don't know that. You don't know that. I mean, we have to see because at the end of the day, his last two performances have been pretty average. I mean, against Bivol, he was poor. Let's be brutally honest, he was poor. And against Golovkin, he didn't exactly, you know, 
he didn't exactly he wasn't exactly stellar i mean yeah you know he looked he he dominated a fight against a very very old i mean golovkin that was poor to say the least i mean so canelo hasn't been firing for the last two fights he hasn't he hasn't been firing canelo has not been firing so we need to see how he comes back from this now yes i get he's been having injuries and stuff so we need to see how canelo comes back but i am very intrigued now because uh, Canelo in his last two fights has shown signs that, you know, maybe he's on the decline or maybe he's just injured. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how Canelo looks in his next fight, which I think should happen after a long, prolonged rest. Canelo needs a rest. He needs a rest and away from the sport because he, his last one and a half, two years has been very, very... I feel like he's had no rest. I feel like he's he's crammed in a lot. Uh, because he wanted to become undisputed and he wanted to do that quickly. But I think he put his body under a lot of pressure. Uh, I think he put his body under a lot of stress. If you look at Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather never ever had a, an intense schedule like that. He always took it easy. Two fights, fine. You know, Mayweather had a lot of rest in between. And the reason why that's important is because your body gets worn out. You need to rest. Fighting, having that fighting schedule, fighting at that kind of level, yeah, Canelo's looking spectacular, smacking back, you know, smashing those guys to bits. But at the end of the day, you know that it's the wear and tear in training camp, the sparring, all of that. It take it, it wears you down. So Canelo Alvarez needs to have a rest. But the Benavides is a fight he needs to, he must take. He must take Benavides. He must fight David Benavides. He must fight David Benavides because that will hurt his legacy. If he does not fight David Benavides, Canelo's legacy will be hurt. Canelo's legacy will be hurt. Canelo needs to fight David Benavides. You know, that that's a must. He must fight David Benavides. If he wants to hold his legacy, that, that's a fight that people will hold him against if he doesn't fight. Um, and a lot of people think, and he will get a lot of credit for that as well because there's a lot of people out there that think he be, Benavides beats him. I, I don't think so. You know, I, I think Canelo will beat Benavides and I think he'll batter him. But again, I've been wrong and I, and I could be wrong again. You know, maybe I'll, I'll be wrong because I have been wrong before and I might be wrong again. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, guys, I'd love to know your opinion. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, love to know your opinion. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.